Museum. Hey everyone, Daniel Gutierrez again from Common Ecologies here in Vienna at the Climate Camp. Uh, talking to Bue Rubner Hansen, also part of Common Ecologies. You gave a workshop today and introduced this wonderful tool. What are we looking at here, Bue? Well, this is a tool we developed to break down different kinds of power because mm -hmm. power is not just one thing. Uh, we have to think about the, the, the spaces in which we develop power and the kinds of relation mm -hmm. in which uh, power is, is made. Mm -hmm. um, so the way we've broken this down is to start with organizational power in the kind of classical sense, big organizations, mm -hmm. uh, and, and try to, to develop attention with, uh, with the kind of individualized or ad hoc informal power mm -hmm. that emerges in the encounters between people and exchanges uh, mm -hmm. and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, on the other kind of diagonal, we have the difference between representational power, which is ideas about uh, the present and the future, uh, about um, ideas and discourses about how things should be, mm -hmm. uh, which is kind of abstract, mm -hmm. uh, even if it's about something concrete. Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, you have inhabitational power, which is very concrete. It's the spaces we inhabit, it's the mm -hmm. communities, workplaces, and so on. Mm -hmm. And from these terms, we develop other terms mm -hmm. that you can see here. And that we can use to, to kind of map out uh, different movements mm -hmm. um, and where the strengths are, the, the weaknesses and so on. And why do you think a tool like this would be useful to social movement actors and organizations? Well, if you, if you start to break down what kinds of power you're, you, you have, mm -hmm. uh, you also start to understand which ones you might not have as much of, uh, mm -hmm. which means where you might develop or where mm -hmm. you might need to find allies who have mm -hmm. a certain kind of power. So, for instance, if you're building a very relational power, very inhabitational power in the community, mm -hmm. there are certain things you can change and others you can't. Yeah. So from there, you either have to think about uh, aligning with organizations or, uh, or doing something that will give you uh, po like uh, representational power, media power, whatever, or you have to align with, with people who, who do that. Um, so it's it's a way to, to kind of uh, break down where are our strengths. So to give you an example, mm -hmm. uh, we mapped out in this map uh, the climate camp. And here we did it all the time because the climate camp, the nature of the climate camp shifts all the time. So the climate camp is obviously now we're in this phase. It's mm -hmm. in a space, people are inhabiting it, people are camping here. Mm -hmm. But before that, it was a relational process of uh, a network of different uh, people, individuals, organizations, uh, movements, and so on, mm -hmm. who were planning the space itself. Beautiful. And before that, it was a meme. Mm -hmm. It was a meme based on previous climate camps. It was like an idea, should we do this? And the process was started to do that. And now we're in the phase of inhabiting the space. Mm -hmm. And of course, that's sustained by building its own organizational power in mm -hmm. the space, mm -hmm. division of labor, a lot of people doing cooking, yeah. setting up tents, and doing all these other things uh, that are necessary to make it run. Mm -hmm. But it's a temporary thing, and it will go back to being a meme awaiting the next uh, realization. Beautiful. Yeah, and that's what we got for today. Thanks for tuning in, and we hope to see you on the climate camp or in uh, future places.